All right, let's head over to the western part of this zone. We're going to start down here. Working on a buying type. This looks like a group quest. I, I'm kind of wondering if we're going to get there and it's going to be all elites. I did notice that a little bit late. But we'll go have a look and just see exactly what's going on. So this experience buff is going to be really nice for a lot of people. It's not going to be like... Utterly game-breaking. Uh, you know, it's not a 100% or 200% buff. It's a 50% buff. So, we're going to be moving along the levels a little bit faster than we were. Yeah, see, this is elite stuff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Buying time. Okay, the war on the war mall. That's stuff we can do solo. It would probably be nice to have a group for this stuff. Uh, I don't see any players over here right now, though. So maybe we head to the north and we just do the stuff that we can do on our own for the time being. Kind of worrying if we're going to be done in Nagrand soon. Uh, we've got this. We've got a few more things we can do for Hemet. We might get more stuff from the Throne of the Elements, but... Yeah. I wonder if we could take these guys. Maybe I should try it. Uh, he's dodging and we're missing. <laughs> Never a good start. And this is with our sword equipped. Yeah, I don't think that we can... Uh, I don't think we can take this guy. We're going to hamstring him and we're going to beat a hasty retreat here if we can. Definitely, I, I saw that we only needed two of them, and I thought, you know, maybe we can get two of them on our own, but it really doesn't look like it. We would probably want to have at least one other person helping out. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go further to the north, and we'll work on the solo quest up here. I see a ramp here that's leading up. I think we need to take this ramp to get to where we want to go. However, there may be elite mountain gran in the way. War Mall Hill. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, these guys are definitely not elites, so yeah, we're in the right place. What kind of objectives do we have back here? The kill quest, prisoners freed, so we're looking for prisoners. We're probably going to need cages, uh, keys for cages, maybe? Yeah, we got a War Mall prison key there. It looks like this goes up a little bit more. Let's follow this until it kind of plateaus and to see if there's an area with a bunch of guys that we can focus. Because out here down this way, it seems like they're a little bit spread out. Here we go. It's a little bit more dense. Maybe a little bit more dense than we want. Oh no, 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 you have an imp. That is not good. 
they're little, but they deal magic damage, and uh, magic damage is kind of like our bane. The good thing is that the imps let us proc Victory Rush, so I appreciate that. We're gonna aggro this this other guy. Uh, there's no avoiding it now. Does he have an imp somewhere? That's the question. Uh, we are just getting pounded by the magic damage. It is not a good feeling. And we missed the interrupt there. That was a failure. Absolute failure. Alright, we do need to heal up a bit here. We could start freeing some of the prisoners now, uh, that way maybe they'll even respawn, we might be able to use the same cages more than once if we start on it early. We have a couple of keys, I believe. Uh, I don't see them in our inventory though. Uh, they're in our key ring. I'm assuming it's one key per cage. Yep. We probably do want to go into some of these uh, barrow dens just to see what's going on inside of them. There's little boxes here and there on the ground. We don't have a quest for boxes, but it, it kind of worries me. It, it tells me that we might be sent back here at some point. There also aren't a lot of guys in here right now. I wonder if a player has just cleared this out. Uh, well, we've aggroed uh, a couple guys here. I, I do need to kind of line of sight here and figure out what we're dealing with. Yeah, we're dealing with imps. Imps and warlocks. Yeah, either someone's been through here, or they just don't spawn a lot of guys inside the inside the cave. Uh, let's check this way. We've got a brood over here.
I'd really like to reach a point when we're hitting more consistently with this mace. I feel like that will be really good when it happens. We're just not quite there yet. And because of that, we're not generating a lot of rage. It's hard to generate rage when you're not hitting. We are at 300 now. Out of uh, 340. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Just getting there very, very slowly. Uh, yeah, we have respawns popping up all around us. Let's pull this guy over here a little bit. And let's hope that we don't aggro the warlock over there. Let's get some health back because we are now finding ourselves completely surrounded on basically every side. I'm sure the guy behind us is going to respawn too at the worst possible moment. I'm going to go ahead and eat and get all of our health back here. I don't feel particularly safe. Part of me wishes you could go to like a training dummy to skill up your weapon skill. I feel like that would be pretty realistic to let you skill it up that way to a certain point. Because you know you are trying to train the skill up so working a little bit on a training dummy would probably make sense. Usually when you're learning a new weapon you don't just go out into the field and uh, use an untested weapon against enemies to level up.
We have not been getting a lot of prison keys, though. I would kind of like to get out of here now. Yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, have to get out of here. Otherwise, I kind of worry this stuff is just going to keep respawning around us. But I'm thinking that we're going to have to fight many more than the uh, 30 or so that we were sent in here to free because they're just they're not dropping a lot of keys. And we've only freed 3 out of 15 prisoners. There's a key. Let's free this guy here. Let's just see what's going on back outside and see if we can get some of these guys out here in the daylight, in the sunshine. Uh, there's a lot of warlocks out here. There's less brutes. At this point, we're at 314 out of the 340. I think I'm just going to keep the mace equipped. We're hitting enough. And this way we'll get it scaled up a little faster. Oh, damn. That was really stupid of me. So it will let you open cages that don't have prisoners in them. And it will use up your keys. Don't be like me. Look in the cage first. If you don't see a person... 
you were not going to get credits. All of these people have been freed already. Good job, Robert. Paying attention as always, my man. So I did do a little bit of reading, uh, reading, reading the official post about the Joyous Journeys buff, and they did reaffirm that the buff was going to go live uh, 24th or 25th. You know, obviously for us, it went live on the 25th here in the Eastern Time Zone in the United States. And they said it would be, you know, it was going to be a few weeks prior to the pre-patch. And they're doing like a big server merge on the 9th of August. So a lot of people, including Wowhead, seem to think that the pre-patch might start as early as August 9th. Uh, that seems a little bit early for me. If they are going to do a release date of the 26th, I believe that would be a six-week pre-patch. Uh, which could be really good, because with the pre-patch, they're also opening up the fresh start servers. And the experience buff is going to go all the way through up until the launch of Wrath uh, on the 26th or whenever they decide to actually release it. So when we're on the fresh start servers, we'll have this 50% uh, experience buff. And yes, yeah, six weeks. Six weeks on a, on a fresh start server. That should be enough time with a 50% XP buff for a lot of people to get to max level and be ready to jump into Wrath when it comes out. So yeah, I could, I could definitely see the pre-patch starting as early as the 9th, and that's really exciting. It is an exciting time to engage with Classic. Uh, let's see, are, are, are you a person? Yes, I, I believe someone's in here. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. But if we zoom in, there's definitely a Maghar Orc female in here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoops, uh, no, I did not realize. Yeah, this is a battle elixir. I need to keep my elixir straight. This is a guardian elixir. There we go. It's because it's similar color. I, I'm used to the battle elixirs being yellow. And the guardian elixirs being pink. Obviously, that's not the case with everything. Uh, let's see here. We need some physical guys, some brutes. But more than anything else, we just need keys. 7 out of 15 freed. That's not bad. Do we have any keys on us right now? We have one. So the kill quest part is done. We just need to kill enough to get enough keys to free enough guys to finish that part of the quest. Uh, there's somebody in this cage. And I've got two guys here that we could go in on. Let's make some bandages. That could be useful. Do a little bit of retaliation just to use our cooldowns and to make this a bit easier. I need to start using these more when we're questing. I was in a pretty good habit of it for a while. When we were arm spec, I would tend to pull big groups sometimes. And we would pull big groups and we would do retaliation. Uh, you know, as prot, I don't tend to pull groups as big. So we don't really have any powerful AoE. We had empowered Cleave when we were arm spec, and that made Cleave do like 100% bonus damage. Which made it pretty great. Oh, don't even. Oh, come on. <laughs> I appreciate you not uh, taking this from me after I cleared these guys. I do appreciate that, Shadow Priest. Yeah, you, you got this guy over here. That's fine. Uh, we might have to go back into the, into the cave here to find more. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's leave this guy to the outside and we'll venture back into here. Do you have an imp? I don't see an imp with this guy.
We've got lots of prison keys now. We just need to find uh, cages that have people in them. Not seeing any cages this way, just tons and tons of ogres. Hmm, okay, let's go this way then. We know of at least one cage over here, but we're gonna have to fight to it. I think we have all the keys that we need. I think now it's just a matter of finding the cages. Uh, you're a respawn. That was really, really quick for a respawn. Let's go check outside again. And we just need to find one more. Here we go, right here. I think we have a key. We definitely, definitely do. Okay, that is everything for this little area. Let's come back down over here and we will get it turned in. Oh, they fight with these Gron? Oh, that's really cool. I love it when they have different mobs in the world be hostile towards each other. That's one of my favorite things in games when they do that. It makes it very, not realistic, but just immersive to think that there are different types of enemies and they don't all just get along because they all want to kill you. Some of them are aggressive and will attack other aggressive enemies. Uh, Elden Ring did that pretty well. A game called Outward did that pretty well. And it's something I'd love to see more of in World of Warcraft. You've done what none thought was possible and brought back our missing brothers and sisters. You are a hero for, to the Maghar. All will know your name and the deeds that you have performed for us. Uh, what do we need here? Strength and stamina. Is this going to be better than our agility, stamina, attack power? I don't think so. Go forth to victory. It's a good start, but their leader must be dealt with for your actions to have any lasting impact. Chowar the Pillager. 
Have you ever seen an ogre king? Few have and live to tell the tale. Unfortunately, that is exactly what we are dealing with here. The leader of these barbarians is an ogre named Cho War. Rumor has it that Cho War was the ogre responsible for forcing the Gran out of the cave. Cho War then declared himself king and dissolved the ogre clans that served under the Gran. Thus, Warmal was born. Find Cho War deep within the caves of Warmal Hill, slay him, and bring me his head. Three players. Recommended for this. I like both my rings. I like the hit and attack power on the Ravenclaw band. Yeah, I don't really need any of these items. May your blades never dull. Hmm. Oh, he's he's way way back there. So if we don't do that, what else can we do? We have a group quest here. We have a group quest here. We have a group quest here. And <laughs> we have a group. We're, we haven't been doing really good at doing the group quest. I haven't been really excited just to like spam for groups for this. Um, I like it when we can kind of find people in the area already doing it. But I don't know if I want to take the time to find the groups right now. Okay, what we are going to do is we're going to head back uh, to Garadar and the Throne of the Elements. And we're going to get some of our outstanding quests turned in. And we're going to see what follow-ups we get. And if there's really anything left that we can do solo or not. Uh, it could be an okay time to check out a different zone. We have, we have breadcrumbs that lead us into Blades Edge Mountains. I wouldn't mind checking that out. We have breadcrumbs that lead us into Shadow Moon Valley. I definitely want to see some of that. So yeah, depending on uh, depending on the follow-ups here, we may we may go somewhere else. I think I might do one more Durnhold run. Uh, what was it that we needed from Durnhold? Oh, we're on. We're looking at heroic here. We don't want to look at heroic. Yeah, he has a defense rating ring that would be good. I would give up the resilience one, I guess, which would drop twenty-one strength, which is not ideal. Maybe I don't really need this ring. Maybe I don't really need anything uh, from here. What I really... Oh, we're stuck. Perfect. Perfect. What I really need is uh, a belt. And bracers. Which I don't think we're going to get... Yeah. Maybe I don't need to do that again. See, this is a defense rating sword. 60.2 DPS, 165 top end damage, hit rating by 13. The defense rating and hit rating are probably more useful than the expertise rating, but we're losing stamina. And I think we would be losing... Uh, I think we're just going to be losing damage. But it might be something to equip when we are, when we're doing dungeons. So let's, let's move it here. Do something like that for now. 
they do give you lots of blue items for these group quests. So the group quests are probably worth it. If there's an item that you could use from them, then they're probably worth looking for a group, but... I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to make... I'm not going to make the rounds here of all the group quests, I don't think. I could change my mind, but... I just don't feel really compelled to do them. Prior to getting the XP buff, maybe I would have uh, maybe I would have wanted to do more of them. They're worth quite a bit of experience sometimes. Fourteen thousand. Of course, all these values have now been adjusted for the XP buff. So, kind of worried that Blade's Edge might be difficult to navigate without a flying mount. Which is weird to say because the quests are lower level, so maybe I should just check it out. We have stuff available in Netherstorm now that we've hit level 68. I guess the only other thing here would be to uh, to complete Windrock Mastery. So maybe we ought to go do that. Bracers and a belt. I really, I wish there was a way to uh, search by what item I need. Maybe, maybe I can do this. Right click to change class. No, I, I don't really see a way we could search like that, actually. Botanica. We can't get to these without a flying mount, right? Architraz, Botanica, and Mechanar. I don't think we can get to these without a flag mount. Steam Vault? Um, I have no recollection of Steam Vault. Let's take a look. Nothing there. Stamina and Int. Shield Block Rating and increases the block value. Uh, I like the 40 Stam and the Defense Rating. Yeah, there's a nice rifle with stamina and crit strike. Uh, anything on the last boss? Doesn't really look like it. We could use the gauntlets here off the last boss, but... Yeah, okay, we need these. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I guess I didn't realize that we still have the Gauntlets of Aileron. Uh That was a pretty big oversight on my part. We've had these on since level 54, so maybe I try a Steam Vaults run. I don't remember Steam Vaults. I know it's in the Coilfang Reservoir. Uh, but yeah, maybe I can do that. That doesn't sound too bad. And maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. We do need gloves, I guess. So bracers, gloves, and belt. Uh, those are the things that we really, really need. So maybe I'll look at doing that uh, later today.
these are definitely falling over a lot faster now that we are actually hitting with our new mace. So that's good to see. We need to find like a big group of these really close together so we can take advantage of victory rush like all the time. When they're far apart, that kind of hurts us. Yeah, right now there just aren't enough of these guys uh, around at all. Not for killing 30 of them, there aren't. Looks like we do have some competition though. I see a hunter and his pet. Wasn't really paying attention. Uh, didn't really want to pull this elemental.
I do need to stop soon and heal up. We are getting kind of low. Okay, yep, we had a bleed on us. That was a horrible time to try and bandage. Kind of hoping that by the time we're done with this kill quest, our mace skill will be maxed out. That'll make me feel a little bit better about taking it into a dungeon. We have reached the end of the line for birds. We need to turn back around and go the other way. It's a really small area in reality. Uh, there was also a hunter working on them, so whether or not we're going to find many alive, I don't know. Here we go. Looks like we've hit the mother load over here. Tons of ravenous wind rocks up. I guess now that we have the XP buff and the fresh start servers and pre-patch are imminent within the next few weeks, I should probably start seriously thinking about what my plans are for the fresh start servers because uh, I still don't know. 
The great thing is I feel like I could do anything and I'd have a good time. I feel like I could play on Horde on the Fresh Start servers and that would be great. I could play Alliance, that would be great. Uh, I could play a Paladin, that would be fun to see the rework. Uh, at the same time, I could play something like a Hunter or a Warlock and I feel like I'd have fun on that too. In fact, if, if it's Wrath pre-patch, then I would, I would consider a Mage. It would be nice to get a mage to level. Uh, we have had not many successful attempts on mages. But I think with the rework stuff in Wrath and then the fact that, like, you just run out of mana less. Mana is just less of a big issue uh, once we get the rework for Wrath, which will come with the pre-patch. So I wouldn't mind giving mage another shot. It's funny, the mage that I took into Wrath originally, me and a friend leveled up dual mages on Karn, which Karn at the time had just opened up. It was a fresh start server. We rolled mages together on it, and, uh, and so I played a mage for the first little bit of Wrath before switching over to... I played a druid for a bit, and then I went onto the paladin and basically stayed on the paladin for the rest of my career in retail. But those were Blood Elf mages. Uh, they weren't human or anything on the Alliance side. It was definitely a Horde character. As Karn was then and probably still is a mostly Horde realm. Alright, that's it. That is done. Let us go turn this in. Looking at our gold, we are going to be all set to get our mount, our flying mount, at level 70. So that's really good. Pretty sure it cost a thousand. Is that right? A thousand? I I'm hoping that's what it cost. Then I'm going to find out that it costs like three or thousand or five thousand and be really sad. Uh, but I was pretty sure it cost a thousand. Uh, now I'm going to have to double check. Not sure why I'm getting some stuttering issues here. It's really weird. Everything's fine. We're running at a smooth frame rate, but every once in a while we get a little bit of hitching. Haven't noticed it happening in any other zone, just Negrand. Uh, again, these, to me, they really aren't worth it. I suppose I'll grab them for now. Yeah, we've got Cleft Hoof Mastery down here. We've got Windrock over here and Talbuck over here. It'd be nice to do them, but uh, we can't, we can't solo them. It could take some time to track them down. Maybe that's something I can do while forming groups and other such things. Maybe I can just run around and try to find them and see if there are any other players in the area at that time also looking for them. Maybe something to do in the evening when more people are on. Could be an idea. Uh, we have just... So yeah, basically just group quests now at this point. I don't really have any... There are no other solo quests really that I see. Everything we have 
is going to be for a group of two or more. So, yeah, I think, guys, that I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. Uh, I am going to do... Was it Steam Vault? Yeah, the Steam Vault. I'm going to do the Steam Vault and see if maybe, just maybe, we can replace the Gauntlets of Valor. We're going to have to replace them somewhere. Uh, this, this would be good. Level 70, so we couldn't equip them until level 70. I wonder, so these are set items. These are items that they, that it can drop. These are set items that it can drop. We're on normal. The rest of the dungeon besides the last boss drops level 68 stuff. Uh, anyway, I'll figure, I'm gonna do some kind of dungeon. Uh, I'm just hoping it can be something where we can get either a belt, bracers, or gloves. So I'll have to do some looking through my uh, atlas loot and find out what would be our likely options for that. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate the continued support on the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. We'll see you back here again really soon. Bye now.